Hello and welcome to the Reactive Swift 4 programming course taught by myself, James Said. So a little bit about myself to start with. Uh, I published my first iOS app when I was just 12 years old. Uh, it was a very simple game. At the time, Objective-C is what apps were written in. However, at the time, I was only fluent in Java. And so I wrote this app using Java and the LibGDX framework, which allowed me to export to iOS using Java. I've then gone on to teach object-oriented programming, mostly Java, on YouTube to an audience of now over 3 million total video views and well over 30,000 subscribers. And ever since Swift 4 has been announced, I've managed to publish two iOS apps, both optimized for Swift 4 and iOS 11 in these last six months alone. So a little overview of what we're going to be going through in this course. In the first section, we'll just focus on getting started with quite a few introductions a setup video and some installations. We're then going to begin designing a simple app. In that I'll run you through the storyboard, how auto layout works, and using a table view. Then we're going to get into the nitty gritty of RX Swift under the logic section in which we'll have a deep look at observables, operators, and using RX Swift in a real world concept with our app that we're designing. We're then going to be looking at using RX Swift with things like core data and the Firebase database. And finally, we'll be wrapping everything up by testing everything, adding a few final bits and bobs, and then going through how to publish our app. Now I'll go into this a little bit deeper once we actually begin the course, but you may be asking yourself, why Rx Swift? And the reason for this is that the reactive approach will help you to write clean, cohesive, resilient, scalable, and maintainable code. And for me, those last two points are what are most important and most useful about RX Swift is that it makes your app scalable to a very easy degree and just makes your code look so much nicer to the point where it is very much maintainable and manageable. So the app we're going to be developing throughout this course is just a simple movies app in which the user can search for a film, click on it in the table view, and then they'll be brought to a detailed view in which they can view all the important information about that film. These are just mockups. This isn't what the app may necessarily look exactly like in the final stages, but this is basically what we're going to be working off.